Okay, we continue the creation, uh, create curve menu, and we are going to explain interpolate curve on surface. It means you can draw your curve on any surface. For example, I insert a surface here, uh, insert a surface, first click and second click to draw a sphere. We explain them, don't worry. Or you can create a curve here and you can simply click on it and click on this, click on this sphere, drag to create a to 3D surface from that line. And then going to select interpolate curve on surface, the software tells you please select a curve that I want to draw on it, click and as you can see the tooltip says that uh, show it's on surface and you can click, click, click to draw a shape on a surface, a curve on a surface and as you can see when you select that the curve has created with lots of points to uh, bends on a surface. <laughs> As you can see, its points and the curve are exactly uh, bent or placed on a surface of the sphere. As I said before in a previous lesson, we have something called persistent on a surface, a snap. When you select a curve, for example, interpolate curve here, and I want to uh, snap on a surface. It's the difference between this tool and this tool. Hold in control and click persistent on a surface. As you can see, it will uh, ask us to select a surface and like this tool, you can create a surface curve on a surface. But it has a very important difference. If you complete your Drawing, as you can see, the body or the curve does not snap or place exactly on a surface. Just the points are the points that you clear, uh, create with a persistent click, a snap on a surface. If you right click, click and right click to show the control point. As you can see, just the points that you click that we select here, snap on a surface. But when you use this important common tool, you can exactly place your curve, its points and body or curve on a surface. Or you can place your curve on this surface, select your surface and drag. And you can use the snaps. Uh, for example, you want to uh, s click the midpoint of that curve, you can do it. Right click, as you can see, we have placed our curve exactly on the surface of that object. Okay. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release